I have been meaning to hop on here all day. What I thought was my last night in the Bahamas last night will hopefully be tonight. The wind, I should have moved Anchorage yesterday and I didn't. Um, I knew where I was, it's super swelly, not really protected, but because it's such a pain to move, I chose not to. Um, the right move would have been to ask Stephanie and Cole, give me a hand and move to them. I'm a little bit more protected, but I had three to six foot swell this morning. It's bound, it's down to about two to three now. Um, I woke up and I wasn't getting a good feeling yesterday and I don't really get that ever. And then I couldn't even figure out how to get the dinghy engine up. The dinghy itself is not bad, but the engine is a struggle. Um, and when I pondered on it and sat on it for about two hours, I realized today's not the day. Um, wait at least one day. So I'm going to show you guys outside. I just got the dinghy engine up. I think it's 3.30. But three motorboats have come in today, so Gulfstream can't be too, too bad if they could do it. Here's what we're dealing with. Rocking and rolling. It's really not too bad anymore. On the bright side, anchor is holding great. Um, it's gonna be fun to get up. I'm gonna try to leave at 6 a.m. I'm going to miss family dinner at this point. Um, I wasn't sure if they're doing a lunch or dinner tomorrow for some birthdays in the family, but I think I'm gonna miss that, unless it's dinner. I'm hoping to leave here around 7 a.m. so I can still get to the condo and surprise at whatever time that is. Yeah, I couldn't even open my laptop until about an hour ago-ish. Um, it was just too rough to do anything. So, oh, I'm running out of food. Had potatoes and pancakes today. Going strong. I'm gonna lift up the dinghy and that's one out of two things done. Hopefully, tomorrow morning. Yeah. But as you guys saw, it's really not too bad anymore. Wind was about 25 knots this morning, and I think it's down to probably 20, 18 to 20 would be my guess. Come on. I know. Go eat. I know. There you go. The swell has is still from the north, but the wind is now from the west, which is great because it's more protected here. And my big thing yesterday was the wind plus the swell. So I'm being shoved constantly back with 25 knot, 20, 25 knots of wind, plus three to six foot swell bouncing. And even trying to raise the anchor in that with three people manually was not safe in my opinion. Um, I couldn't even get the dinghy engine up. I'm not really worried about raising anchor anymore. It's going to be bouncy, but I won't have the intense wind, hopefully. I still have 45 minutes to go before the sun's up. But hopefully I won't have the intense wind also pushing me back and trying to handle both factors instead of one. I've raised anchor in like 15, 20 knots of wind, and I've raised anchor in swell. So now we're going to put a little bit of both to the test. I don't know if you can see how much we're rocking. It's not fun. I think the land gives you a reference. I keep saying this, but I've never been so excited to get back to Florida. And even Stephanie the other night was like, I never thought I'd hear that from your, from you. And I'm like, yeah, I know. So um, I'm really excited to surprise my grandfather. Mako and I are going to surprise him this afternoon, and I'm very excited. And then the boat show, and then all this boat work. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot, and I'm very excited for it. I'm a little stressed with the amount of boat work that I will be doing, but I'm very excited, and, um, yeah, it's the last sail till the end of 2022. Till my New Year's sail. Thank 
Michael, you ready to go to Florida? Hey, ready to go to Florida? Maybe. Ready to not be on moving ground? Yeah. Sun is up and I really need to get a move on. If I want to make it. It used to be so simple. Like, turn nav stuff on, turn engine on, put the main out, click a button. <sighs> I am going to appreciate my win list so much when it is fixed. Like, oh my god. It's just like, I know I've gone into this so much, but it's really not safe. Like the way, I, I wish I could show you guys more in depth, um, but I don't have, I'm not going to wear a hat. Right now, safety is my priority and trying to film it could hinder me being safe, but I'm using an old bridle hook and I don't love the hooks because they're not, if it comes too slack, it could slip and my windlass doesn't hold any pressure. Like when my mom and I left Clarence Town, Long Island about a few weeks ago, um, the wind all of a sudden picked up as I was racing the anchor and I told her to go forward, but she'd never driven this boat and put neutral forward. And the chain just started going out of the windlass like crazy. Um, and there was nothing I could do. Except for make it slack and take off the pressure um, by going forward with the engine. So it's just really unsafe if something like that were to happen while I was clipping it or any of that. Um, so that being said, that's why I'm not filming as much of this process just because I'm putting myself first. Um, but it is, even with multiple people, it still would be, it's still a challenge and it's still a little risky just because if I went too far forward and then they started pulling and I was still going, like there's just so many factors. Um, I mean, I think the best thing would be to have someone else that could safety hook it every time. It's so like if I had someone to pull, but then I was able to safety hook it as soon as we needed to, and I could watch the chain and know when versus kind of just estimating and either hooking it too early or too late. Um, but hopefully the hook holds because we are going like this. So that's my only concern with holding because it's it's a bridle, but it's not great. And I don't, I attach it up above, not below, so I can unhook it and hook it. So hopefully it goes well. Um, And gonna get ready. Like, my nerves are up here. Um, I don't know why. Okay, let's see if this engine starts. And let's do it. Oh my god. I feel like I'm sailing for the first time. Make are you ready? Yep, you're pissed off. Uh, sun's up. See, it's not really that bad. There's a few swells, but like the minor waves aren't bad. So as long as the swell doesn't mess me up, I think I'm good. She's on. Engine check, always. Anchors up. That was getting that swivel over. Ooh. And the anchor finally gets up there. It's so rewarding. I can see the sand, 30 feet of water. It's so beautiful. It's time to head to Florida. Cruise ship came in this morning. Time to go. After what is mine Best believe I'm gonna be 
everything I'm meant to be. Staring at the clock now is my time. I'm gonna run, 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 run. going between four to seven knots, depends on the wind. Getting up to 20 knots of wind, averaging around 15, so it's really nice. I haven't had a good sail like this in a while. Just wind to you know, probably about like 100 degrees. Autopilot's messing up a little bit as we speak. The little arm that senses it keeps just like randomly popping off, so I taped it. We'll see if that works or not. It's just constantly swinging because it can't sense where it's at. Oh my god. And then this happens. Anyone knows autopilots? I could use help. Make those in this little carrier. This is going to be a long day of being steering if this keeps going. So right here I have it taped. It's temporary, but that little thing underneath keeps popping off, but it's on now. But this boat loves to go upwind and it's not behaving. I did this crossing, I had no autopilot for 24 hours, so I think I can manage if this keeps up. So this is only eight to 10 hours. We are 25 miles out and I just got my first glimpse of Florida. I don't know how much you guys can hear me. It's blowing 15 to 22 knots. Autopilot somewhat working. Seas are three to eight. Um, I've been steering on and off. Mako's not moved. Read a few chapters of my book. Downstairs is a disaster. Um, other than that, there's not much more going on. Halfway in. Halfway done. I don't know.
Click customs and now about to put in the same. Seems to be I'm timing this well. This time I came in another cruise ship is backing down. But this time I have an engine. I'm awaiting this bridge. And I'll be anchored to wait 17 more minutes for this bridge and then I'll be anchored by 515 dingy down after that hopefully. Just dropped anchor, set it pretty hard. Uh, it's a little tight in here, but there's Raf and Sasha on Spirit Animal. So it's kind of nice when you know your neighbors, <laughs> especially in this anchor because it's a bit sketchy and they're doing construction there. So time to get the engine loaded up and go surprise my grandfather. He came right to your door. <laughs> he did. Mm -hmm. God, you sneak in. Made it. Hey, I'm so happy. <laughs> Now that I'm back in Florida, there are a lot of things to get done. I am doing a lot of maintenance, safety checks, and upgrades. And I can't say thank you enough because without you watching and supporting, these things would not be possible. If you would like to help out, giving a thumbs up and subscribing really does make a difference and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you.